We have been trying to develop some new types of drone technology inspired from nature, converting taxidermy birds into flying or swimming robots. All of these birds is naturally dead birds that are already taxidermied to the certified taxidermist. We try to do a reverse engineering in order to make them functional and alive again, basically. Before developing this type of concept, our first objective is to understand their physics of their flight. What has been their sizes, their weight, their flapping frequency, flapping angle, and these dead birds, basically the bones and skin and the feather. Uh, so what we have been trying to do is to develop actuation mechanisms that they can provide the same flapping motion as the muscles of the birds. Regarding the swimming dock, uh, we have developed legs, uh, which would enable uh, those taxidermy dock to float uh, on the air and also swim similar to the dock. The shape of the molar docks are really optimized for hydrodynamics applications. And also the feathers are water resistant. And this is a nice platform for this type of robots with swimming capability to reduce the drag or the water resistance while you're swimming. And beside this, we have been looking at the pigeon to be able to perch uh, on a tree. So we have been developing shape memory alloys to their claws that with electricity, they will show us some motion. And now we are integrating them to their claws, which basically they can grab the trees. What we are doing in this type of drone, we need to make an actuation mechanism, as well as the other electronics that we are going to use, fitted inside of the body. So sometimes this is a complex. Uh, we need to keep the weight of these drones constant, uh, similar to the actual bird. And we need to also make sure that all our electronics can be fitted easily inside of the bodies. So flight time is related to the batteries. And again, because of the weight constraint, they cannot fly for longer time. So what we have been trying to do is to integrate uh, some source of artificial intelligence and also integrating lesson learned from the nature of the birds, the actual birds, that how they harness energy to increase the flight efficiency of this type of drones. So perching mechanism uh, in, in this also is going to help. So imagine that these birds can land over, for example, a power grid, they can get charged and they can be reused again. The main objective of all this research is to develop some nature-friendly drone and robot that can be used for uh, wildlife monitoring because the current technology like a hexacopter or quadcopter or fixing drones that are being used, sometimes they create a lot of noise and animals will be scared and scattered. And also sometimes you will have a bird strike, like birds got hurt in the same time, drones get damaged. So that's the reason that we have been looking at uh, this nature-friendly drones to have a more safe platform uh, for this type of application. The next direction for this project is combining this flying as well as swimming capability with the one taxidermy bird. And also in the future, maybe with the perching mechanisms, which they can land and they can basically do an, a stationary inspection in the wildlife. I call the first version of the dead bird that we developed two years ago, Phoenix, because Phoenix is coming from its ashes. So that's exactly what now we are trying to do is to extract all those iconic figures to really try to understand those creatures and try to see how this might happen or what we can learn from that.